Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn about colony farming units or how to count the colony farming units from the agar plate. Okay, this is a widely used technique to count the um, number of bacteria that we have in the plate. Okay, so today we will learn this. Now in order to have the colonies for counting purpose, you need, need to have separated colonies in your plate. Okay, so if you take the plate that you have uh, uh, spread from an unknown bacteria or from the stock sample or you can say from the original sample, you will get a lawn of bacteria. Okay, so that is not countable at all. So in order to make your plate, agar plate countable, to have it countable number of colonies, you need to do the serial dilution first. Okay. I hope you all know how the serial dilution is there, uh, is done, but here I will give you a brief, okay. So now this is the unknown bacteria in this test tube, we have unknown bacteria that is stock sample, okay, we, we will refer it as stock sample. So if you do the uh, counting from this stock sample, you will get a lawn of bacteria which is not countable at all. So you need to do the, you need to do the serial dilution, okay. Now the serial dilution is done in two ways, first is in test tube so here what we do you do the serial dilution up to 10 to the power minus 4 minus 5 uh, 6 7 8 so uh, until you get a countable number of colonies you can continue your serial dilution so here we have shown up to 10 to the power minus 4 so here in the test tube you can see that what we do we take the 9 ml of distal water is taken in every test tube okay and here what you do, you take 1 ml of this unknown bacteria from the stock sample and you pour it in the first test tube. Then you mix it gently. Then after this, you transfer this uh, 1 ml of bacteria from the first test tube to the second one. Then, then again you mix it gently. Then from here, you will take 1 ml of bacteria to the third one. Okay. So this will go on giving you serial number of dilution that is first one will become 10 to the power minus 1, second 10 to the power minus 2, third 10 to the power minus 3, fourth minus 4, fifth and so on. Okay. So all this test two will have 10 ml of volume every time you pour 1 ml of sample from the first one. Okay. So here you can say that the ratio is 1 is to 10. Okay. So, from the first one, if you do the plating, you will get some less number of bacteria from the stock one. Okay, but still it is not countable. Okay, we, you can see there are so many uh, colonies, you, you cannot count it. So, if you do the plating from the second one, you will see that your number of colonies is getting reduced with increasing number of dilution. Okay, so what you do, you continue doing the dilution until you get the countable number of colonies. Now, second method is you can do it in appendropals. Okay, so the same thing you do uh, here we have taken up to 4. So you take this appendrop, 4 appendrops. What you do, you pour here 990 microliter of distal water in every test tube and take 10 microliter of sample from the stock. Okay, so from the stock, you put 10 microliter of unknown bacteria in 990 microliter of distal water. So total it will give you. 1000 microliter that is 1 ml you mix it gently and transfer it to the second test tube so the here the first test tube becomes 10 to the power minus 1 second will become 10 to the power minus 2 then again you do the same to the third one you pour 10 microliter from the second one and give it to the third one which will give you 10 to the power minus 3 dilution so this goes on so here what you get the sample here the ratio it becomes 1 is to 100 okay here the ratio becomes 1 is to 100 because the total volume is 10 to the power sorry here the total volume becomes 1000 microliter that is 1 ml okay so here the ratio is 1 is to 100 now 10 to the power minus 1 minus 2 3 and 4 okay so the plating is done Accordingly, in 10 to the power minus 1, we will see a less num amount of colonies. Minus 2, it will again decrease. Minus 3, it will go on decreasing. Okay. 
so this is how the serial dilution is done in order why why the serial dilution is done in order to get the countable number of colonies okay so that you can count now here is one rule that you need to follow that is colonies in the dilution should be within 25 to 250 colonies for cfu calculation okay so you need to have the colonies count between 25 to 250 not greater than 250 not less than 25 in order to get the precise amount of colonies in your original sample okay this will make your calculation easier okay so you need to follow that you have to have the number of colonies between 25 to 250 in your agar plate okay so now coming to the formula that we will use in the cfu counting okay now the CFU counting, this formula has been divided into two parts. The first one is determination of the concentration of cells in the diluted sample. Okay, so suppose you are taking uh, 10 to the power minus 4 for say. Okay, so 10 to the power minus from 10 to the power minus 4, you are taking some of the sample, you are pouring it in your agar plate and you are spreading it. Okay, so determination of concentration of cells in the diluted sample means how much amount of colonies is present in that diluted sample that is 10 to the power minus 4 okay so you first need to find the uh, number of colonies present in your that diluted sample okay so this formula is number of colonies counted on that particular plate divided by amount of diluted sample added to the plate in ml okay so the agar plate that you have uh, spread you have kept it for incubation and then when you counted the number of colonies that you count on that plate that will write in the first one divided by the amount of diluted sample that you have taken okay so from 10 to the power minus 4 you are not taking 1 ml right so you are taking some sample in microliter so it may be 200 microliter it may be 100 microliter it may be 150 50 microliter 60 cents so whatever amount you are taking you need to put that divide the number of colonies by that amount in ml so that will give you the cfu in that diluted sample okay and step two determination of the concentration of cells in the original sample so when you get the amount of colonies in the diluted sample you can easily find out the colonies present in the original sample original sample means the stock solution okay so here the formula is CFU in the diluted sample that the, the result you got from the first step divided by dilution of the petriplate counter. So in which dilution you are counting? 10 to the power minus 4. Okay. So you divide that one by the CFU in diluted sample. This will give you the colony forming units in the original samples. Okay. Now here you need to remember that the unit is cells per ml unit is very important you need to remember it colony farming units is counted in cells per ml okay so this is the formula which we uh, need for cfu counting now this will become more clear if we look into some examples now let us see some examples suppose you are doing a standard plate count okay where you have done the serial dilution up to 10 to the power minus 8 per se okay and what you have done you have uh, taken 100 microliter from the dilution and you have poured it on the agar plate and you have spread it okay so how much amount you have taken 100 microliter okay so here you found that in 10 to the power minus 8 dilution plate there are 211 colonies okay and you are asked to calculate the CFU in cells per ml of the original sample. Original sample means the stock sample. Okay. So, how to find it? Now, here you are, have already given the number of colonies that is 211. So, number of colonies that are counted in 10 to the power minus 8 dilution is 211. And amount of diluted sample that is added to the plate? That is 100 microliter. So you will convert it the uh, 100 microliter into ml. That gives 0 0.1 ml. Okay. And what is the dilution of the plate that is counted? That is 10 to the power minus 8. So all these things are given in your question only. Now proceeding forward with your formula. So we need to find the CFU in the diluted samples first. Okay. 
so here we will get number of colonies divided by the amount of diluted samples remember the formula in the step 1 okay so it will give 211 divided by 0 0.1 that is 0 0.1 mm okay so this will give 2110 cells per mm so this is the step 1 now in step 2 you will find CFU in original sample okay and for this we have the formula that is CFU in diluted sample divided by the dilution of the plate so that gives 2110 divided by 10 to the power minus 8 okay that is the dilution of the plate so this will give you 2110 into 10 to the power 8 cells per ml or if you simplify it it will come 2.11 into 10 to the power 11 cells per ml okay so if you are asked that how many cells the original sample have you can say that it has 2.11 into 10 to the power 11 cells per ml in the original sample okay so this is how you do the calculation now let us see another example let us understand with another example so suppose you have done this a standard plate count experiment and here you have done up to again 10 to the power minus 8 dilution and this time you have taken 50 microliter of sample from the dilution for spreading purpose on your agar plate okay so how much amount you have taken 50 microliter previously we have taken 100 microliter now you are taking 50 microliter okay and you have done all the um, plate you have spread the plate from taking uh, the this 50 microliter of sample from each dilution up to 10 to the power minus 8 okay so here you had said that 10 to the power minus 4 dilution plate has 162 colonies whereas 10 to the power minus 6 and 10 to the power minus 8 also has colonies but they are less than 25 colonies okay so for the counting purpose remember the rule i mentioned previous previously that is you need to have colonies between 25 to 250 in order to perform the cfu calculation okay so here we cannot take 10 to the power minus 6 or 10 to the power minus 8 into account for cfu calculation okay so here we need to take 10 to the power minus 4 only because it has greater than 25 and less than 250 colonies should not get confused with it so now you have been asked to find the CFU in the original sample now here what are the given things that you have number of colonies counted is 162 amount of diluted sample that is added to the petri plate is 50 microliter you have to convert it to ml that is 0.05 ml the dilution plate where the colonies have been counted that is 10 to the power minus 4 now the CFU in diluted sample will become 162 divided by 0 0.05 okay so number of colonies divided by the amount of diluted sample taken this will give you 3240 cells per ml so this is the amount of cells that you have in your that particular diluted sample now CFU in the original samples will become 3240 divided by the dilution of the plate which is 10 to the power minus 4. This will give 3240 into 10 to the power 4 cells per ml or if you simplify it, it will become 3.24 into 10 to the power 7 cells per ml. Okay, so you can say that we have 3.24 into 10 to the power 7 cells per ml in the original sample that is in the stock sample okay so this is how the calculation is done using the CFA formula now there's another formula that is called MacFarlane standard okay so this have a chart here so I've given this standard just to make you understand that this is a widely accepted standard uh, table and this is used um, in your research purposes okay so whenever you do research in microbiology you have to follow this McFarland standard okay
so here is uh, the whole protocol is not given here it, it, it has a whole protocol and an experiment so if you want the details of the McFarlane standard comment it below will make another video in it so for now only it is mentioned that this in the research purpose of the microbiology you will come across the term that is McFarlane standard so here McFarlane standard in one column you can see all the standards are given 0 0.5 1.0 2.0 up to 10 and here the bacterial suspension in ml is given so all this um, experiment has been conducted and this have stated that 0 0.5 macfarlane standard has approximately 1.5 into 10 to the power 8 cells per ml okay so this is one of the short cut uh, method because this is already has been done and it is widely accepted so you need to follow this in your research purpose okay not for um, bsc or msc but you have to follow it in research okay so if, if you need a detailed video on this macfeller comment below okay so this is all for today's video hope you all have enjoyed if you have any queries feel free to comment below and if you want the detailed notes on this video, follow our LinkedIn page. The link is in the description. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more such updates. Thanks for watching.